international heavyweight champion with the number one manager in all professional wrestling who just happens to be walking down the aisle right now. You know, it's rough, and we got a lot of things on our mind. We got a lot of business to take care of starting tonight. That's right, starting tonight in Parsboro. Tonight in Parsboro, there's going to be an extravaganza. And tomorrow afternoon in Butcher Vachon's hometown, <laughs> St. Izzy Dory, Butcher, you're getting a chance of a lifetime. One chance for greatness. One chance. Butcher Vachon, tomorrow afternoon at 2 p.m. So set your watch, Butcher Vachon, tomorrow afternoon at 2 p.m. A chance for shot at greatness with me. And tomorrow night in Cocaine, it's going to be a great card. I can't wait to go back to Tignish, to Woodstock, and the list goes on and on, Bobby. But the thing that's on my mind is starting tonight in Parsboro, tomorrow afternoon at 2 p.m., that Sunday at 2 p.m. with Butcher Vachon. And Butcher, you better be ready. Tell him about it. Number one manager at all professional wrestling, Mr. Robert Joseph Bass the first. You know, I get a little excited when I hear Leo Burke and Bobby Kay come and I'll say, hey, there's only a little bit of time left to get some bitches taken care of. <laughs> well, you know what, boys? You're all summer to get the bitches taken care of, and now you're whining and crying about the last lousy week. Well, I tell you what, the last lousy week, you boys are going home with a cast on and you get your butt kissed. The fast-paced, hard-hitting action of World Grand Prix Wrestling continues to heat up arenas in the Maritimes this week. See all your favorite wrestling stars tonight in Parsboro, Sunday afternoon at 2 o'clock in St. Isidore, Sunday night at 8 in Cocaine, Monday in Surrey, PEI, Tuesday, World Grand Prix Wrestling heads to Minto, Wednesday in Petticodiac, Thursday in St. John, Friday in Bay St. Anne, Saturday, September 29th in Canning, Nova Scotia, Sunday, September 30th in Dingwall at 2 p.m., and Waikokoma at 8. World Grand Prix Wrestling, be there when it comes to an arena near you. Well, we've got the international champion all set and ready to go, Bulldog Brown. There should be another great match. I'll tell you what, it's been explosive so far. Everything's been going wrong here. I'll tell you, uh, cables upset, TV monitors broken. Hey, listen, it's going to be a wild. And what a way to end it up with an explosion. Big Steven Pettifer, the big goof from Shady Act, New Brunswick, against the champion himself, Hustler Rip Rogers, one of the best. I don't have to say he's the best. He's got the belt. That proves one thing. He is number one. Let's go now to our ring announcer, Joe Sealing, for the official introductions. Ladies and gentlemen, our next match on today's program is scheduled for one fall. Introducing in the ring from Shediac, New Brunswick, weighing 258 pounds, Big Stephen Pettipaw. Wait a minute, Joey. Old BC here has something to say. I'd like to challenge, I want to challenge him for a championship match next week, okay? You tell him right now. He wants to, he wants to challenge you to a championship match next week right here. The Beast. Wants to challenge you. Well, Bulldog, there's some sort of... And his opponent from New Orleans, weighing 222 and one-half pounds, the current international heavyweight champion, the Hustler Rip Rogers. And your referee for this match, Ron Dogan. What do you, what do you make of that challenge, that impromptu, <laughs> spontaneous challenge, the Beast? You, you know, the Beast is, got, uh, is a wonderful man, they say. He's got a wonderful family. He's got a bunch of lovely kids. Why would he want to get in the ring with Rip Rogers? It could mean the end of his career. My goodness, he hasn't got too much smarts, has he, Garrett? Well, I don't know about that, but I'd certainly like to see Rogers put up his belt against the Beast. And here's Rogers, who got this thing started before the belt even went. And now Pettipa rolling out of the ring, going after Hustler Rip Rogers on the cement floor. No, 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 no! Rogers getting pounded here in front of our interview table. Rogers still not fully undressed for this match. And here's Pettipa now back into the ring with Rogers pleading for mercy. Listen, you call out an all-Canadian boy fighting on the floor. Wouldn't give Rip Rogers a chance to get in the ring. Uh, but you like that guy back well, don't you? Well, I'd say Rogers kind of provoked that situation. And but you know what? It won't do him any good whatsoever. Rogers in against Big Steven Pettipa. The hustler is still the international champion. He's been very slippery, very evasive when it comes to holding on to that belt. Rogers now backing his man up into the corner. And Rogers now lining up and 
the big clothesline, and down goes big Steven Pettipoff. You know, Rogers, I'll tell you one thing, gives away about 50 pounds. You know, I look at that. So many intelligent people. There's a guy who walks around here by the name of, what's his name? Junior. Junior. You know, they tell me that he was one of the toughest guys that ever walked the streets in the Maritime. There now, he's one of the shut-ins that we have to say hello to every week. And I'll tell you the truth, he looks so stupid, it's pathetic. One of these times, he's going to fall upside down and fall out of that wheelchair. Well, actually, there are some shut-ins that we'd like to say hello to. Not me. Particularly the kids over at the IWK Hospital in Halifax. We certainly hope you all get well soon and hope to see you out at the matches here at World Grand Prix Wrestling. Big Steven Pettipa in against Rip Rogers. Rogers not taking kindly to some of the comments from the fans at ringside. I'd also like to say hello to Big Mike Forrestell. Who is that? man who owns the Irving Big Stop out at Lutz Mountain. He's a, an avid wrestling fan. Is that where you get your free coffee, Garrett? All kinds of wrestling fans all over the Maritimes tuning in. And hey, you didn't answer my question. Is that where you get free breakfast and coffee? I know you don't open your wallet, so I know you go there for some reason. A lot like Emile Dupree. Well, I'll tell you, it's gotten to the situation where you can't even say hello to someone without you climbing all over them. Say hello to me. I'm well, saying hello to our good friend, Mr. Forrestell, and just jump right in, insinuating all kinds of things. Here's big Steven Pettipa. He's got Rogers up for a suplex, and down he goes. Did you see him hang on to his tights? He had his tights at the back, and that referee, once again, I don't know what happened. I'll I don't know how you. Rogers was able to kick out of that, quite frankly, because Rip Rogers took a tremendous blow coming down from that height. Rogers, though, able to kick out, and now has taken command of the match once again. I'll tell you, Rip Rogers has had this match from the opening bell, and I'll tell you, it's just a matter of time before he puts Mr. Big Steven Pettipa, Mr. Big Shot from Shadiac. They tell me sometimes he's a volunteer fireman. I wonder if he knows how to hold on to the hose. Here's Pettipa down on the shoulders, but able to kick out after a count of two, of course. It requires a three count in professional wrestling. Rogers with a series of left hands. And now a right, and down goes Pettipa. Why don't he just give it up? Uh, he's just prolonging this match, I tell you. Uh, Rip Rogers is just beating him up, just Rogers. using him for a dish rag. Rogers coming down hard with the elbow, now looking to use the ropes for leverage, but referee Ron Gauguin was having none of that. What do you think of Big Steven Pettipaw? I think he's a tremendous athlete. I think Big Steven Pettipaw has always answered the bell, has always been there for his fans has always represented his community very well. You know, Big Steven's getting married in September. Getting married? To who? To well, I'll tell you what, I'd like to see her. I could tell her a few things. And here's Big Steven Pettipa now. Sunset flip and over goes Rip Rogers, but Rogers able to kick out. Can you imagine getting married to somebody like Steven Pettipa? Ooh. He probably beat her up the first night. There's Pettipa off the ropes, and he's met there by Rip Rogers. Neck breaker. It's all over. That's Rip Rogers and his DDT. Rogers applauding himself. Rogers should go in for the count now for the cover. Yes, he's yes. wasted valuable seconds, Bulldog. Yes. Well, I, tell you, I don't understand, Rip Rogers. It's too late now. I'll tell you what, he should have covered him right away, and he would have got the three count. That's a bad mental mistake on Rip part. I'm but surprised because he don't make mistakes like that. Well, the champion was not too sharp on that occasion because he wasted, I figured, close to 10 seconds applauding himself. And here's now 
An abdominal stretch. Oh, he's just playing games with Stephen Pettipan. And Rogers has got a hold of the tights. Referee Ron Gauguin to check it out. And we've got all kinds of things happening here at ringside. And we've got security now rushing in as the fan tried to attack Bulldog Bob Brown. See, you can't even sit here and uh, uh, be, uh, do the commentating without somebody coming jumping on your butt. Well, I'll tell you one thing. Fans should always remain in their seats when they're at professional wrestling matches and restrain themselves. They I know. Don't, excuse me. They do. Only in the Maritimes they get away with that. In the United States of America, they would have been in jail. We certainly are concerned here for everyone's safety. And now here's a small package attempt, and Rogers is able to kick out. There's Pettipal with a big right hand. And now they're going round and round, and here's Pettipal into a sleeper hold. Rogers has got the sleeper on big Steven Pettipal. Pettipal, though, is still standing. And into the turnbuckle goes the hustler, Rep Rogers. Pettipah able to break out of the sleeper, and now a big knee lift. And that sends the champion flying. Hustler, Rep Rogers, begging and pleading for mercy. There's Pettipah. Pettipah and Rogers going at it here at the Cocan Arena. What a great match here on World Draw 3 Wrestling, and here's Rogers now going knee first into the turnbuckle. Pettipah stomping away. It could be all over. Here's Pettipah now into the figure four leg lock. There's no getting out of it. Here's Bulldog Bob Brown coming in to interfere. Brown has interfered. Here's Bulldog Bob Brown interfering. And here now is this Maritime Giant we've heard about. The Maritime Giant is in, going after Bulldog Brown. And Rip Rogers. What's that Buckshoot Giant doing in there? He's about seven foot tall. The he must be giant over 300 pounds. Just the nick of time once again. You were in there interfering. Well, the match is Pettipa, over. Pettipa had that match won. Yeah, but he didn't break it. It was over. How can you say he had that match won? You would have I heard him give up. He gave up. And that big giant, about seven foot five, he interfered in my match. Well, I'm telling you, I'm telling everybody in TV land right now, if you want a piece of us now, Pettipa, if you want a piece of us now, giant, get in there right now and let's do it right now. Bulldog Bob Brown and Rip Rogers. Well, I don't know, fans. You saw it yourself. You have to make up your own mind, of course. Don't go away. We'll be right back. Well, you saw it happen at home, fans. We saw it happen here at the Cocan Arena. Bob Steven. Brown, you're interfering. Your match is over, buddy. Because I got my partner right here. And he'll back us up. It doesn't matter if it's me or Leo Burke or the Beast or whoever it is. If you want to stick your nose in business, I got a partner here that's going to back us up. So you come on at any time you want to. The Maritime Giant certainly right, making right. his impressions felt here at the Cocan Arena. I'll tell you, it was quite a program. And we'll, of course, be back in seven days for more great action here on World Draw Free Wrestling. Oh.